in any other speaker in the history of this house has allowed the process of winnowing alluded to understanding of the 131 on money bills. That is a fact, and the leader of minority knows that is a fact. Winnowing has been done on other bills except money bills that are not subject to Article 114 of the Constitution, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, in view of that, Honorable Speaker, let me, that's what I was saying, Honorable Speaker, it is not accurate what the leader of minority is saying. And indeed, if this was not a money bill, a winnowing process would help to enable the House to process the myriad of amendments that are similar uh, in a faster way. But on money bills, the leader of minority, with all due respect, knows in the history of this House it has never happened because money, money bills are subject to the provisions of Article 114. Two Honourable Speaker, this is not the first finance bill we are processing as a House. Neither is it the last. But filibustering is also not the first time we have seen it. And it's not the last time we have seen it, Honourable Speaker. Therefore, Honourable Speaker, I hear the Honourable Leader of Minority say that we don't need the concurrence of the National Treasury. And to an extent, I agree with him. We are not under the directions of the National Treasury at all. But I want to confirm that in line with the provisions of Article 114 of the Constitution, the chair of the Finance Committee has been able to engage, and even after the House Business Committee this morning, Honorable Speaker, I was in a meeting with the chair of the Finance Committee and a whole delegation from the National Treasury to consider the, all the amendments that have been proposed both by the committee and indeed, I can tell you there were, there were clauses, amendments that have been proposed by the committee which on consultation with the National Treasury, some were dropped. There are amendments. If you go through the supplementary order, paper, Honorable Speaker, you will see the amendments by the member for Homer, by the Honorable Kaluma, that have been allowed following that consultation. The amendments by the Honorable Oundo, Honorable Naisula, who is seated right at the back, Honorable Mbui, Honorable Aluoch, Honorable Mule. Therefore, there are myriad of uh, many amendments that have been allowed following that consultation. And therefore, that's what I was saying, it may not necessarily be very accurate to say that uh, there are those that have been condemned and had. Two, Honorable Speaker, or three, the question of public participation. In the history of legislative processes in this country since the enactment of the new constitution, Honorable Speaker, no other bill, none whatsoever, not even the infamous political parties bill, which we took through winnowing, none has had a more rigorous public participation exercise than this finance bill, Honorable Speaker. And I must commend the chair and the finance committee and members who sit in the finance committee from both sides of the political divide. Because I know there are diligent members of the finance committee in Azimio who sat through the public participation. There are many members within the Kenya Kwanza coalition who sat for long hours through public participation. For the first time, Honorable Speaker, I have seen members of parliament, as Honorable Junet was saying, not just sitting up to midnight, sitting even on Sundays. At one point, Honorable Speaker, may the Lord forgive me, I was watching a public participation exercise when I was seated in church somewhere, Honorable Speaker, because these members of the Finance Committee devoted a lot of their time to this public participation. And therefore, uh, the question of public participation, I think, is spent and is something that has been uh, covered. Honorable Speaker, there are other amendments, and I'll draw reference to some amendments I've seen here by the Honorable Makali Mulu, some that seek to delete particular clauses, Honorable Speaker. I think, Honorable Speaker, other than being subjected to the provisions of Article 114, if you are seeking to delete a provision in a bill, the easier way is to vote against that particular provision in the bill. And therefore, you have been accorded the opportunity since the provision is still the particular clause, for instance, those that the Honorable Makali Mulu sought to delete. 
The easier way is when we go to committee, the Honorable Makali Mulu will get an opportunity to prosecute his case as to why he seeks deletion and convince me and others that we should delete that particular clause. And if we agree with him, we vote in the negative and delete, uh, basically defeat that particular provision and it will not be there. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, let me in conclusion say that the process of winnowing in the history of this house, I think is a fact that is known by those who have been here, that the process of winnowing has never been subjected to money bills. And unless uh, we are trying to reinvent that, Honorable Speaker, and I do want, in conclusion, to beg that uh, as much as we are not in a hurry, Honorable Speaker, as the leader of minority says, we have up to midnight. We are in no hurry. But we must also spend the time that we have devoted here up to midnight today, up to midnight tomorrow, up to midnight on Thursday, and hopefully even uh, before 30th, any other day. But we must utilize our time properly. Let us not uh, in any way utilize our time through filibustering and trying to spend time in not a, a very wise manner, Honorable Speaker. Beg to submit. Jeanette. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the, the cardinal responsibility of this House is to legislate.